Your resume goes from the HR specialist directly into the trash can. But why does this happen? There are many reasons. Let's find out. First, misspellings and other grammatical mistakes. This seems basic and it should be rare, but it's not. You would be surprised on how many resumes still have misspellings all throughout them. How can this be? Almost every word processing program, including usajobs.gov, has a spell checker built in, but it is still happening. This could be something as using the wrong verb tense or the wrong word. For instance, there, there, and there. I know this because I review dozens of resumes each month, and I almost always catch a handful of misspellings. This one reminds me of my time as an instructor at a local university. I would review papers with tons of errors from students. The first thing that came out of their mouth is, I submitted this through Grammarly. Like, I don't care about Grammarly. All I care about is the product that's in front of me is accurate and correct. And that's what they would say. They would use it as a form of defense. Like, hey, don't blame me, blame Grammarly. I'm not blaming Grammarly. So double check your resume and make sure it doesn't fall into this category. Next is your resume is a long list of responsibilities. You would be amazed at how many resumes have this long bullet list. I was responsible for this, for that, for the other. Hey, everyone gets it. We assume that whatever you were doing at your job, that whatever you were responsible for, you did that. Because if you didn't do that, then you would be fired. Accomplishing your responsibilities is a given. But what did you achieve? We know that you were responsible for the high risk program, but did you reduce risk by 15%? Did you increase effectiveness by 20%? Did you exceed standards on an annual audit? Were you committed by your senior management? We don't know because you didn't tell us. Agencies care more about what you accomplished than what you were responsible for, and it's even better if you can quantify it. Next is your resume is not targeted to the job. What happens here is a person basically takes the last five or 10 years of their work experience and they just put it on their resume. And what they're hoping for is that the HR specialist is gonna go around and fish out the gems, pull out the good nuggets of information, but you're not making it easy for them. This is a sure way for your resume to meet the trash can. You can mention past jobs that are not relevant, but the experience needs to be relevant. Let me give you an example. If you're applying for an analyst position, you can mention your Taco Bell experience. If at Taco Bell you analyze shift times or you analyze the stock that was coming in from the distributor, you can mention that. But do not mention the time you made over 100 tacos in one hour during the lunch rush because that's completely irrelevant to being an analyst. Now, qualifications will change from one job announcement to the next. So if you wanna create a strong base level resume, you need to go to the OPM job series handbook and pull out a lot of those keywords and put them inside of your resume. And it will be giving you an idea on what to include from your past experience. The next thing that your resume is missing is key information. For government jobs, you are required to include key information on your resume, such as dates of employment, your supervisor's name, his phone number, the hours you worked at the job. If you're missing this key information, you could be disqualified. And if you're new to applying to government jobs, the best thing to use is the USA Jobs Resume Builder because on the builder, they're not gonna let you miss key information. Also, if you forget to attach required documents, then that will result in you receiving an email letting you know that you were not considered because you did not have the required documents attached. Next is acronyms and confusing terminology. A lot of times the HR specialist reviewing your resume, they're not in your field. So if you're an engineer applying for an engineer job, the a HR is not an engineer. They don't understand the background. So a lot of acronyms or jargon is really gonna confuse a lot of people. This is especially also with the military. People coming out of the military and they expect everyone to know these military acronyms. Do not make that assumption. Most people have no idea. Consider this, most best-selling novels are written at a seventh grade level and newspapers are written at a ninth grade level. You want HR to understand your resume, so you probably should have it written this way. In the same way the movie trailer gets you fired up and excited about watching the movie, your resume should have the federal agency excited to interview you for the job. Now, if you are in the process of writing your resume up and you're looking for additional tips to help make you stand out among all the other hundreds and thousands of people applying, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.